Hi and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to discuss British curriculum or A level in detail. We will check what are the certificates that are accepted in German universities. We will cover the general requirements as well as the subject specific requirements uh, so that the students of British curriculum can get admission into German universities. One thing regarding British curriculum is that it's one of the few curriculums curriculum which allows you to get admission into German universities directly and you do not need to study any foundation course or any take any additional exam. So let's start. Um, first, we will see uh, what are the certificates that are accepted from students of British curriculum. Uh, now the accepted certificate is advanced level certificate, general certificate of education in advanced level. Uh, and this is accepted in either in combination with AS level certificate or in combination with advanced international certificate of education or in combination with Cambridge pre-university. Now you have to have A level certificate in combination of one of the three uh, certificates that I have mentioned and listed here. Now, there are general requirements, and in this particular video, we are going to cover only the A-level A certificate in combination with AS-level certificate, advanced subsidiary level uh, certificate. Uh, if you have done uh, Cambridge pre-university or advanced international certificate of education, then you can contact us and we can provide you the detailed uh, requirements for that. But if you are have done AS level and A level, then um, we, we are going to cover the, these requirements in this video. So the general requirements are that you have to prove an evidence of you have to provide an evidence of four subjects that you have passed at, and three of these subjects must be at A level and one can be at A le AS level. So you have to bring a, come up with four subjects, three of which must be at A level, advanced level, and one can be accepted at AS level. So the one subject that is mandatory is a language subject. Any language can be accepted. It can be German, it can be English, it can be uh, French or whatever, but it has to be a language subject. Uh, if you say that you take an IELTS exam or TOEFL exam and you want to compensate this language subject with either of these tests, it, it is not accepted. So you have to pass one language subject, any language, Arabic, English, Urdu, whatever, French, one language subject, and this language subject can be at up to AS level. So you can definitely have it uh, until A level, but the minimum requirement is AS level. Now, the one subject out of maths, physics, chemistry, or biology. So you have to come up with four subjects, one of which has to be at AS level and three remaining at A level. And one language subject is mandatory. You can take it up to AS level. And out of these four subjects, maths, physics, chemistry, biology, you have to have at least one subject. So let's see uh, that uh, some of you might be uh, starting an engineering program at bachelor level. Some of you might be studying medicine and others maybe economics, business administration, humanities, etc. So let's see that 
uh, what are the subject specific requirements that you have to fulfill so that you can get admission directly in bachelor degree in Germany. So let's start with um, the technical fields first. Uh, it can be IT, it can be engineering, any discipline of engineering, electrical, mechanical, uh, whatever, or any mathematical or natural science uh, degree. So if you intend to start these, uh, this degree, then you have to have mathematics at a level, advanced level, and this is mandatory. This math subject is mandatory. It must be at least at a level. Now, the next mandatory subject is from one of the four subjects, which could be chemistry, IT, biology, or physics. So one subject out of these four subjects. Let's say that we select chemistry as a second subject. That's why we have highlighted it. So first subject was mathematics. Second, let's say we select chemistry. The third subject can be physics, biology, IT, or any other subject. Here you are totally free what type of subject you want to have as a third subject at A level. And the fourth subject, we assume that um, is a language subject that we have taken at AS level. So this is, these are the subject specific requirements for uh, engineering or IT or any technical field. Now let's move to the medicine. If you are intend to study medicine uh, degree in German university, then what requirements you have to fulfill. Um, you have to fulfill, uh, you have to select three subjects out of the four subjects, which are maths, physics, chemistry, biology. So here the requirements are a bit more strict. Uh, you have set of four subjects and out of these four subjects, you have to select three subjects at least. Uh, let's say that the first subject you select is physics, which is highlighted. Um, the second subject is chemistry, which is highlighted. And the third subject is biology, which is again highlighted. Uh, here you can also have uh, the fourth subject uh, is mandatory. I mean, there is no um, option for the um, language. Uh, it can be at A level or it can be at AS level. Let's say that if we take language subject at AS level, then the remaining subjects will be three of the four subjects. And let's say we have selected physics, chemistry, and biology. Now, chemistry and biology are the most relevant subjects. What you can do here is you can switch between physics and language subject that so that you take language up to A level and you take physics only until AS level. So the room to play here is a bit less as compared to in engineering. And one thing to notice is that medicine in German uh, universities is offered only in German language. So uh, you have to um, think about it. Um, I mean, it's free of cost, but it is in German language. So uh, be ready for learning German language also. Engineering courses, technical courses, they are available in English language also, free of cost also in public universities. But medicine is free of cost, but it is in German language only. Now let's move to the third category of uh, uh, bachelor degree. Let's, uh, which has uh, economic, social science and humanities, let's say. Now one subject, one A-level subject, irrespective of whatever uh, 
field you are selecting, uh, whether it is economics, social science, business administration, humanities, you have to select one subject which is directly related to the field that you are choosing. Now, let's say that um, you are choosing uh, economics. Okay, then economics uh, is the subject that you have to select at A level. Then uh, at A level, one subject, another subject at A level would be mathematics because it is mandatory if you are going for social science or economics programs. Okay, so first subject, if you select economics in as your bachelor degree, then you have to select one subject that is directly related to your bachelor degree, which could be economics. And the second subject is mandatory mathematics if you have selected social science or economics. Um, the third subject is optional for you, then you have uh, flexibility to um, select any subject uh, here as a third subject and you have to have one language at AS level because it is mandatory whatever field you are going to study. So this is how you can uh, select the subjects uh, during your A level and AS level if you intend to go for economics or social science programs. If you are going for humanities program, let's say you are going for history or philosophy or law or politics, etc. So let's take one example, history. In this case, um, you have to have a history subject during your A level uh, because it is directly related to your uh, bachelor degree. Then the second subject here you have um, freedom to play uh, and freedom to select any subject that you want. The third subject, um, if you look at here is A level history or geography for humanities. So you have selected history uh, at the top as a first subject. Now you can select geography. Okay, so this way you can complete a set of three subjects at A level and the fourth subject we know is AS level. So these are the subject specific requirements for students coming from uh, A level. Uh, I hope you understand it. If you have any queries, confusion, uh, mention your comments, concerns uh, in the comment section and we will address um, these issues. Thank you.